Hi everyone, Donut here. So I had planned on releasing a video about the Berkeley slash Portland protest slash riot slash major LARPing event, but I did not have enough time today to get done with it. There is a lot going into this video. There's a ton of footage that I'm going over and I think that we figured out who a lot of the people who sucker punched that one guy was. I've been talking to and sharing information with quite a few people who were there. So instead, today we're gonna be talking about a shooting that took place in Iron County, Utah, between suspected burglars and two Iron County Sheriff's deputies. At around noon on June 28th, police received calls of two people breaking into cars. Police arrived on scene and found a male and female suspect. The female suspect was armed with a screwdriver. Eight miles out. Come on the north side of the parking lot. Stop the north side of the parking lot, Okay. She won't let it down. She is well, I would say it's a good idea to put a screwdriver down, Why? right? Why? What am I doing though? I'm sitting right here. I need to look okay. I understand him, but what up? Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to you, but I don't want this guy next to you getting hurt, so I'm going to have you come talk. No, he's not going nowhere. Okay. So you're not going to come over here. You? No, no he's not. You no, know, I'm talking to you. No, Are you going to come over here? Are you going to stand next to him with a gun? Because I'm worried that maybe she's going to hurt you with that. You're not free to leave. You're not free to leave. Go ahead and blow. Okay, Maybe. you come in with that knife. I guarantee I'll smoke you. I guarantee it. Okay. 10 4 1151 break. You want this to happen? I'd get back if I were you. You drop that down. Oh, yeah, it's on. You know what? I'm, not I'm trying to give you a yeah, chance. All units here, be advised, our road party traffic. Sir, I want you to get back. I want you to get back this way a little bit, okay? I just don't want you to get in the way. What? 1096? Okay. Okay. I can take her out like last time. Do you want me to take her out like last time? Both officers are calmly talking to the suspects, trying to de-escalate the situation, trying to get the woman to drop the screwdriver, and neither one of them will comply with the officer's instructions. Right there, you heard the officers discussing that both suspects were 1096. This means mental subject. You hear Corporal Dunn say, I can take her out like last time. Reports are stating that this is referring to a 2012 shooting incident between Corporal Dunn and another suspect, where Corporal Dunn shot the suspect in the leg as he was advancing on him with a knife in each hand. The sergeant in this video, Sergeant Mike was also on scene for that shooting. What? Didn't work, did it? I don't think so. Okay, that's all I got for Taser. Drop it. Hey. Wow, the taser didn't work. The officer says, well, that's all I got for the taser, and then shoots her twice in the right knee. Okay, that's all I got for taser. Drop it. Hey! Drop the screwdriver. What's up? Drop the screwdriver. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Drop the nut. Drop it. Drop it. Lay back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get on the ground. He later tells investigators that he targeted her right knee on purpose because he thought he could save her life because he was pretty sure she was going to escalate the situation. He also stated that he was fearing for his life and the life of others. Reports also state that he felt he was skilled enough to make that shot as he had before in his 2012 shooting. Iron County Attorney Scott Garrett, on the other hand, said that this was not a justified use of lethal force. Remember that no matter where you shoot someone, it's usually considered lethal force. We talked about that in my video I made called Why Don't Police Shoot People in the Legs. You can check that out. Out right here. Your legs, of course, are full of giant arteries and bullets do crazy things like change direction and throw shrapnel around. The Iron County attorney stated, while the suspect was armed with a screwdriver and had been non-compliant by failing to follow officer's commands, including multiple commands to drop the screwdriver, it cannot be objectively stated that the officer or anyone else were in danger of death or seriously bodily injury at the exact moment that lethal force was used. He's saying that at that moment, because the woman was not advancing on the officer, that that did not justify lethal force. The district attorney goes on to state, that at that moment the situation was still manageable and that the officers should have continued using de-escalation techniques. Although his use of lethal force was not found justified, he will not be criminally charged because the state cannot prove that he did that with criminal intent. I can't find any reports right now that state anything about his agency bringing further punishment against him. Anyways, everyone, that's the only thing I wanted to show you today. Like I said, I spent probably eight or nine hours today 
going through all this raw footage of all, the, of all the protests that happened, trying to figure out who sucker punched this poor guy, and also trying to figure out what exactly happened in Portland. As soon as this video is uploaded, I will be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator. We can talk about some police stuff, might play some video games. I don't know. Come hang out. Twitch.tv slash donut operator. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.